Click the power button to put the device in sleep mode. Click the power button to wake the device up. When using a smartphone or tablet nowadays, this is the sort of behavior I expect to see with the power button, also known as the wake or sleep button depending on who you ask. This is an expectation that I've come to have after spending the last decade or so using various different Android devices, Windows, tablets, etc. With these past smartphones and tablets and other detachable devices, whether on its own or with a Bluetooth mouse connected to it or a detachable keyboard attached to it, the power button would always behave in the same manner. Click the button to sleep, click the button to wake wake up. If you need more options, long press the button and you'll get them. That's the kind of expectation I have when using the power button on smartphones, tablets, and other detachable devices nowadays. Or at least that was the expectation I used to have until I started using the HP X211. Because the HP X211's power button does not always behave in the aforementioned manner, and the justifications behind why it doesn't always behave in this manner is weird to me anyway. Let's start by going over how the power button works or behaves on the HP X211. In tablet mode, the HP X211's power button works as expected. Briefly tap on the power button and the screen goes black and the device goes to sleep. Briefly tap on the power button in the same manner again and the screen wakes up along with the device. So far so good. In laptop mode with the detachable keyboard attached though, things don't quite work the same way. Tap the power button and instead of going to sleep, you get this power menu of sorts. Of course, with the detachable keyboard, if you really need to put the device to sleep, all you have to do is simply close the lid like so. But what if instead of the detachable keyboard, a Bluetooth mouse is connected to the HP X211? How does the power button behave then? Well, in that case, tapping the power button results in the same menu that we got when doing this with a detachable keyboard attached. So I guess there is no easy way to put the device in sleep mode when we have a Bluetooth mouse connected to it. Having heard all that, at this point, you might be wondering, one, isn't this just how the power button works with all Chrome OS devices? Two, why did I even notice in the first place? And three, is this even worth making a video about? And these are all reasonable questions, so I'll be answering them in order. In response to the first question about whether or not this kind of power button behavior I've just described is standard to all Chrome OS devices, the answer is, it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. The power button behavior that I've described and demonstrated with the HP X211 is very much in line with the kind of power button behavior you get when using convertible Chromebooks. Demonstrating with my Asus C302 Chromebook here, in tablet mode, tapping the power button blacks out the screen and puts the device into sleep mode. In laptop mode though, tapping the same power button gets us this now familiar looking menu thingy. Okay, so this must mean that this power button behavior that I've described is just something that is consistent across all Chrome OS devices, right? Uh, no, the power button behavior may be consistent with what we get with convertible Chromebooks, but it is not consistent with what I've seen with other detachable Chrome OS devices which leads me to addressing the second question as to why I even noticed this power button behavior to begin with. When it comes to the HP X211 and the basics around it, I very much base my expectations or my standards on the Lenovo Duet, which makes sense because this was my first detachable Chrome OS device. And the weird thing is the Duet's power button does not behave in the same way that the HP X211's power button does. Like with the HP X211, tapping the power button in tablet mode puts Lenovo Duet into sleep mode or wakes the tablet up. Unlike with the HP X211 though, tapping the power button in laptop mode puts the Lenovo Duet into sleep mode too. Whether it be with a keyboard attached or a Bluetooth mouse connected, the power button does the same thing. Tapping or clicking the power button always blacks out the screen and puts the Lenovo Duet into sleep mode. Out of curiosity, I picked up an Asus CM3 detachable Chromebook just to test it out for this particular video, and I got the same power button behavior that I got with Lenovo Duet. Whether it be in tablet mode or with the keyboard attached in laptop mode or with a Bluetooth mouse connected, tapping the power button always put this detachable Chromebook to sleep too. So between the three detachable Chromebooks that I've mentioned here, the HP X211 is the unique one in regards to its power button behavior. Now, I don't know about others, but when I use a detachable Chromebook or tablet nowadays, I tend to use them with a Bluetooth mouse in a setup that looks a bit like this. I know, I'm probably the unique one here, and I'm willing to bet that not many people use tablets or detachable devices in this particular manner. But it's just something that I've been doing ever since I got the for my first ever uh, Bluetooth mouse supporting Android tablet. And ever since then, this has just been my go-to kind of setup when using tablets. With this setup in mind, whenever I temporarily get up from my desk to I don't know, open the door for a FedEx person or whatever, I have a habit of putting my tablet into sleep mode. 
Anyway, because I have this habit and because I use my tablets in the manner that I do, I noticed pretty quickly that the HP XD11's power button behavior was not in line with what I had to come to expect when using tablets and detachable devices and when specifically using Chrome OS detachable devices. And that leads to a nice segue to the third and final question is this even worth making a video about? To which I say it probably is. I mean, you guys have watched to this point of the video. Thanks, by the way. There's a bunch of construction going on in the background in case you've been curious. Just just wanted to mention that on the fly. But, uh, you know, it's it's definitely interesting, right? The fact that the HPX 211's power button can behave differently depending on what is exactly attached or connected to it. That's definitely interesting. And to a bigger point, I feel like this inconsistency with how the power button's working with Chrome OS detachable devices begs some questions as to whether or not Chrome OS is being properly optimized and configured to be useful within the detachable or tablet form factor. Notice, by the way, that I'm not taking the approach of saying that all Chromebooks should have the same kind of power button behavior. I do see the value in there being different kinds of power button behavior depending on the device that you're using. Take the convertible Chromebooks, for example. On convertible Chromebooks, the power button behavior of putting the device to sleep in tablet mode and getting the menu thingy out in laptop mode makes sense. The power button on convertible Chromebooks tend to be placed on the side of the keyboard area. This placement basically ensures that the user can access the power button in laptop mode, tablet mode, and basically every mode that this device can get into. A disadvantage or con of this power button placement though is that it's not difficult to accidentally click on it during regular laptop usage. Having the device go to sleep with every accidental misclick can get annoying very fast. So the power button behaving differently depending on whether you're in laptop mode or tablet mode makes a lot of sense with convertible Chromebooks. The same rationale, however, does not apply to the HPX211. When in tablet mode, the HPX211's power button is on top of the screen the chances of you accidentally clicking on this area is slim to none. It's possible that I'm missing something here, but I just don't see any benefits of the HPX211's power button behaving differently when in different modes. The HPX211 just doesn't seem to have been configured like a detachable device should be. It just seems like the standard configuration used for convertible Chromebooks was just pushed over onto the HPX211. And that, you know, that doesn't seem like a very good idea. It's not a one size fits all kind of solution here. We we do want certain features and certain types of behaviors for certain types of devices. Personally, unless there is a unique design justification for it, I'd like the standard for Chrome OS detachables and Chrome OS tablets to be one where lightly clicking on the power button always puts the device into sleep mode. On tablets and detachables with a keyboard or mouse attached to it or not, it's just jarring to not see the clicking of the power button lead to sleep mode. That's just one of those behaviors that we've just come to expect through the usage of various devices in the past. And I don't really see a good justification to changing things up at this point. Of course, in an ideal world, Chrome OS would give us the user the options to choose how the power button would behave on our device. But seeing at how Chrome OS isn't really known to giving users a lot of different options, seeing at how we still don't have a very clear setting with which we can turn on or off auto brightness within Chrome Chrome OS, I made a video about that recently. Um, seeing, that, seeing that that's not the kind of thing that Chrome OS is about, I will settle for consistency here. I just like to see things get consistent to at least get to the point where someone switching from an old Chrome OS detachable to a new Chrome OS detachable will not experience inconsistencies in regards to basic features like how the power button behaves. Anyway, those are some thoughts and observations I've had while using the HPX211. Maybe I'm in the minority here with these kinds of things, but uh, I just thought it might be worth making a video about. Hopefully you found it interesting. And if you did, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like. Thanks for watching.